Hey, what's going on guys? Markels TV here back with another video. I apologize, this video was supposed to come out last night. I messed around, I laid down and uh, didn't get back up till this morning at six. So I had the stuff to do this morning. So now I'm putting this video out. So I was asked a question about a Q. All right, clear, unmistakable error. But before I get into that, let me just say this. This channel is not a channel that gives out advice to veterans about what they should do with their specific claim. This channel is about giving out general information to help veterans, as well as let veterans know about benefits they may be unaware of. If you are looking for legal advice or advice in general about your specific claim, you need to go to a veteran service officer go to a, uh, an agency like DAV or American Legions to try to help you or hire an attorney. I am not here to try to give you legal advice or any advice on what you need to do with your specific claim. I'm only giving general information. I wanna make that absolutely clear and I'm gonna start stating this on every single video. At no point in time did I ever tell anyone I am here to give them legal advice about what they need to do about their specific claims, okay? Now that we got that out of the way, clear and unmistakable error. Hopefully you guys read the information that scrolled by through in the beginning. And in this uh, little brief summary, I just wanna talk about real quick, some of the reasons and some of the things uh, people file when they file a clear and unmistakable error. Now there's generally three types of cues that people file. Uh, a motion to revise uh, a claim that was put in is one. Another one would be a final decision that was made that has a clear and unmistakable error. The third one would be a final board decision, which sometimes, sometimes, not all the time, depending on what the situation is with the board's review. But there are some scenarios where you can file a clear and unmistakable error with a board decision. It is not easy, but you can do it. So those are generally the three that people normally file, okay? Now, what are the types of errors? So I'll give you some examples of the type of errors people would normally file. Okay, so types of errors would be errors like um, a disagreement about medical evidence. So let's say the board made a decision about uh, your claim based upon the medical evidence they had at the time and now there is a change in your diagnosis people will then file and go back and challenge what the decision that was made over here based upon the new evidence another one would be the VA's failure to assist the veterans one of the main jobs that the Veterans Affairs has is the duty to assist a veteran if you can prove the VA failed in their uh, uh, attempt to assist the veteran uh, win their claim, that is another reason to file a clear and unmistakable error. Another example would be uh, a correction to a diagnosis or a change, excuse me, not a correction, but a change in a medical diagnosis. Let's say that you were diagnosed with something that was considered mild. Here it is a year, two, three, five years later. They now say it was far more serious than what was originally thought back then, okay? This is another reason why people would file a clear and unmistakable error, all right? So, in general, clear and unmistakable errors, errors are supposed to be mistakes that were made by the VA that are not debatable. That any person can look at this evidence and go, yep, they made a mistake, this is what it should have been. And it's not just based upon, you know, okay, well, they read this wrong or they did this wrong. Sometimes it's based upon the laws and the regulations at the time the claim was filed versus what the regulations and the laws are now, okay? Because sometimes what happens is an RO, a review officer, will look at the information and base it upon the laws of today and not the laws the way they were back when the file was written, when file was claimed, okay? Because the laws and the regulations with the VA changes all the time. What would have been acceptable back then may not be acceptable now. And sometimes they make the mistake of granting or, or denying claims based upon the laws and the rules of now instead of what it was back when it was originally filed. So those are things you need to look for. 
Now, in closing at the end, I'm just going to put up more information so you guys can see that information and then make a logical decision based upon the information that's out there. But I, once again, cannot tell you what you should do with your claim or with whatever it is you're trying to do. When you ask a general question like this, I'm going to answer a general question. When you start making specific questions about your specific claim, I'm just going to ignore it because I don't know what other way to convey this to some of you guys because you're looking to get help. If it's something in general, don't mind doing it. But when you say what well, I need, what I'm thinking about, what well, I want to do this, I can't help you. You need to go to an attorney, a VSO or a service organization that helps veterans. OK, other than that, guys, I am out. Peace.